And now it's Rodney Hilton Potts from Hilton Potts Legal Consultants who negotiate and defend people facing fraud claims. Good morning to you. Good morning, Terry. Thank you for joining us. Now, the sort of comments that we've been hearing just there, does that sound all pretty familiar to you? Yes, it does. I was very surprised to learn this 0.7% figure because uh, there's a lot of benefit fraud about. Most people think it's dealt with by people on, on, on single estates. In fact, there's a lot of what you might call middle class benefit fraud. We had one child who had £200,000 in Bermuda and a house near Harrods. Really? Still, still claiming benefits? I still claiming benefits. Um, the, 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 the trick here is to, is to go to them early because we've heard from your previous uh, people on the show saying, well, there's a grey area. Well, go to the benefit office or the local authority and get their ruling on it. Even if that's wrong, it'll send you in good stead later on if you are prosecuted. So what, what's happening here? Yeah, are more and more people thinking, oh, you know, times are hard, uh, I can get away with this, or, or, or is it through ignorance? No, more and more people, in my judgment, take a chance. It's, it's rather like sort of the chap who loses his wallet on a beach, claims on the insurance and says it's £500, not 100 They play the system, and they believe if they can just pay the money back if they get caught, they'll get away with it. And sometimes they do, and sometimes they certainly don't. What isn't widely known, I don't know about Suffolk Council, is that some investigators use a lie detector on a voice test. They certainly use it in Southwark in London. So you get this sort of intimidating letter to attend an interview under caution, and when you telephone, they tape your voice, and some so-called expert analyzes it for stress to see if that's a sign of guilt. So that's the sort of reason why one should get some pretty early advice. Uh, have you, you know, sort of uh, come to terms with the fact, I mean, apart from that you're a lawyer, of course, that, 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 that you're defending people here who, who, in many cases, have set out to actually uh, buck the system? Well, everybody's entitled to defence, of course, it's basic tenet of English law, but there's a lot you can do to help people. The first thing is, each uh, investigator has a budget, so keep that budget down, full cooperation, a confession, get to them before they get to you. You can send in character references sometimes, or maybe a medical report. You'll listen, your earlier speaker talked about relationship breakdowns. A good report from a doctor will paint a complete picture. But the difficulty is there's no legal aid for what we do. And we charge £195, which some people can't manage. It's very difficult. If people have committed a fraud, I can hear many people listening to this at, at, at the moment, uh, Rodney, saying, well, they deserve everything they get. Uh, they do, and they uh, they do, but what they can improve their position and try to avoid prison by taking those steps. Uh, but they do get prosecuted, sure. Are more people getting involved in this sort of uh, defence work that, that, that your company is getting involved in? Well, I think so, but the problem is there's no, there's no legal aid, you see. The Citizens Advice do a wonderful job, but I don't think they've got the resources to do it. Um, the, 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 the tactic we try to adopt is full cooperation, and crucially, pay back the money. It might be a pound a week or five pounds a week, but pay the money back. Uh, you, you had an earlier listener who said, put the money on deposit. Nobody ever does that. Interesting. Uh, thank you for joining us on the programme today. Nice to talk to you. Rodney Hilton Potts from Hilton Potts Legal Consultants on the programme today. And you would say is that the majority of the clients that come in to see us are in, uh, in relation to benefits that people move out. Money is the first thing on everybody's mind when things happen to them. And uh, it can be very complicated. I mean, the first thing on your mind is not...